All right, so this is worksheet H6-5, and we're just working through some homework problems here in case anybody was stuck. There was a lot of students out today, so if you're having questions here, hopefully these will help you. The directions here state expand the logarithm using the properties of logarithms. For some problems, there are multiple correct answers. So let's look at number 11. It says log base 4 of 3x. So now we're going to be doing the opposite of what we were doing above in the first section. We want to take this statement and this problem here, and we want to expand it out there so that there's multiple logs in the expression. Well, what we need to look at here is we have it's 3 times x. We're multiplying 3 times x. So we're going to be using our product property of logarithms going the other direction. So this means then this is the same thing as saying the log base 4 of 3 plus log base 4 of x. So when you think about there, like the properties you've been doing uh, in you know the previous section, numbers 1 through 10, okay, whenever you had that product in here, right, it came from adding two logs together. So we're just taking it back to that. All right, looking at number 12 says log base 12 of y divided by x. Well, since we have a quotient here in, as our value, we're going to take it and expand it back apart. We know that when we're dividing inside of here with our value, that had to have come from subtracting two logs. So we're going to say the log base 12 of y, and we're going to subtract from that the log base 12 of x. And now we've you know, expanded that original statement. Looking at 13, we have the log of 36 x to the third power. So this one, we can take it, since we have the product inside of our parentheses there and our value, we'll take it here and we'll start out by saying this is the same thing as the log of 36 plus the log of x to the third now we can do a little bit more with that, right? We could say here, this is like saying the log of six squared plus the log of x to the third. And now we can even apply our power property of logs. Since we've got exponents on our values, we can go ahead and move those out as our coefficients there, right? We could take this two and move it out in the front and take this three and move it out in the front. So what we're gonna be left with here is two times the log of six, and we're gonna to add to that there, three times the log of x. Now, is that the only answer that we could have gotten? No, it's not, okay? Um, we could take six and break it down even more if we wanted to, but the point of this is, are we understanding how to apply these properties here um, in going both directions? All right, so let's do uh, number 14 here. Maybe you want to pause the video. If you haven't done any of these yet and you're just watching this video to figure out how to do them, pause the video, try this one, and then see if you get it right. All right, I'm going to start out here, and I'm going to apply the quotient property first. I'm going to say this is the log base 4 of 10x squared. And then I'm going to say minus log base 4 of y. And then my statement here with the 10x squared, I could take that and split that apart a little bit more. Let's say this is the log base 4 of 10, and then plus log base 4 of x squared, and then bring down my minus log base 4 of y. And, I mean, we could break 10 apart too, again, if we wanted to, but I don't want to get carried away. But I am going to apply the power property one more time. So when I go to rewrite this here, I'm going to say this is the log base 4 of 10 plus, and now I'm moving that 2 out in the front. So it's plus 2 times the log base 4 of x minus log base 4 of y. And that, you know, that, that should be good enough there. We've expanded that pretty good. So if you have any questions, um, further questions on numbers 11, 12, 13, and 14, please bring them to class. Thanks for watching.